हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट माइनर्स एंड को फैक्टर्स ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एट जॉइंट ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स नॉन सिंगुलर मैट्रिक्स एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट द इनवर्स ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स so let us start by studying with minors and cofactors let us consider a matrix a is equal to a b c a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 b a square matrix of order 3 cross 3 then the determinant of the square matrix a is given by determinant of a equals determinant of a b c a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 the minor of an element is the determinant of a matrix obtained by deleting the row and column containing that element if you want to calculate the minor of a particular element so let it be minor of a so here we can see you have a is in the first row and first column so you have to leave that row and column of that element that is first row and first column is deleted the remaining b1 c1 b2 c2 so b1 c1 b2 c2 you have to calculate the determinant of that remaining elements determinant of that remaining elements so so determinant of that matrix is given by b1 into c2 product of the principal diagonal minus product of the secondary diagonal c1 b2 so minor of a is given by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 moving on to calculate the minor of b so we can see the given matrix a b c a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 so you have to calculate the minor of b so according to the rule you have to delete the row and column of that particular element so it is b is present in the first row and present in the second column uh, delete the first row and second column remaining is a1 c1 a2 c2 so minor of b is equal to determinant of a1 c1 a2 c2 so to calculate the determinant you need to multiply the principal diagonal elements a1 c2 minus secondary diagonal elements a2 c1 now to calculate the minor of c again you have to go and check in the given matrix c c is present in the first row and third column delete the first row and third column remaining elements here a1 b1 a2 b2 so to calculate minor of c determinant of a1 b1 a2 b2 that is product of principal diagonal minus product of secondary diagonal now we need to study about cofactors of that matrix so if the minors are multiplied by a proper sign plus or minus which determines the addition of column and row for which that elements belong we get a cofactor so this is the definition of cofactors so to calculate the cofactor you have to multiply the minor of that element for example you want to get the cofactor of a if you want to calculate the cofactor of a 
you have to multiply the minor of a so minor of a so minor of a is a uh, into you have to give the addition of column and row column and row so a we can see a is present in the first row first column first row first column so minus 1 to the power of first row plus first column so this is the first row this is the first column so 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 is positive value so that is plus into minor of a so plus into minor of a that is b1 c2 minus b2 c1 so this is the cofactor of a following the similar procedure cofactor of b that is minus 1 to the power of row plus column so we can see where is b so b is present in the first row second column first row second column so coming back minus 1 to the power of first row plus second column 1 plus 2 into minor of b so a1 c1 a2 c2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 odd number so you will get a negative sign minus of primary diagonal uh, principal diagonal multiplication a1 c2 minus secondary diagonal multiplication a2 into c1 so minus of a1 c2 minus a2 c1 which is the cofactor of element b similarly cofactor of c so minus 1 to the power of the cofactor of c comes under first row and third column so that is 1 plus 3 into determinant of the remaining elements a1 b1 a2 b2 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 1 to the power of 4 even number you will get a positive value so determinant gives principal diagonal minus secondary diagonal so that is a1 b2 minus a2 b1 To find the cofactor of all the elements of the given matrix, proper signs to be multiplied. So these signs are given by, so for a 3 cross 3 matrix, plus minus plus for the first row, minus plus minus for the second row, plus minus plus for the third row. So this is for the 3 cross 3 matrix and for the 2 cross 2 matrix, for the first row plus minus for the second row minus plus so these are the signs to be multiplied with the minor of a particular element to calculate the cofactors of the given matrix now moving on we need to find the adjoint of a square matrix the adjoint of a square matrix is the transpose of the matrix formed by the cofactors of elements in the determinant of the matrix. So adjoint of the matrix is if you find a cofactor matrix. So if you find a cofactor matrix A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3 with the order 3 cross 3. If you transpose the particular cofactor matrix. So, if you transpose the particular cofactor matrix, you will get the adjoint of the matrix. The transpose of the above cofactor matrix is called the adjoint of the square matrix that is adjoint A. So, here we can see the rows has been converted into columns. So, A1, B1, C1 first row changed to first column, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 second column to second, second sorry, second row to second column a2 b2 c2 and the third row a3 b3 c3 to third column a3 b3 c3 with the order 3 cross 3 so this is the transpose of the cofactor matrix which is given by the name as adjoint of a
Now we are going to study about singular matrix. A square matrix A is said to be singular matrix if determinant of A is equal to 0. So if you have a square matrix and if you are going to find a determinant of that matrix, if you get the value equal to 0, then it is termed as a singular matrix. Next is non-singular matrix. A square matrix A is said to be non-singular if determinant of A is not equal to 0. So, if you are going to find the determinant of A, if you are going to find the value which is not equal to 0, then it is termed as non-singular matrix. Now, we need to find the determinant of matrix A. So, determinant of matrix A is calculated by determinant of A is equal to determinant of A, B, C, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 and the order is 3 cross 3. For that, you have to put the signs. So, for the first row, first column it is plus first row, second column minus first row, third column it is again plus. So, determinant of A is equal to A into determinant of B1, C1, B2, C2. So, this is the cofactor of A. A into cofactor of A then minus. So, first row, second column that is minus. So, you have the element is B. So, second element B into cofactor of B. Cofactor of B. So, if you leave the first row and second column, first row and second column, you will get A1, C1, A2, C2. So, B into determinant of A1, C1, A2, C2. Then going for the third element, first row, third column, that is plus, plus C into cofactor of C, that is C into first row, third column, remaining is A1, B1, A2, B2. So, into cofactor of C that is determinant of A1, B1, A2, B2. So, uh, doing the further multiplication, A into determinant, we have to calculate the determinant. So, principal diagonal minus secondary diagonal, B1, B, C2 minus B2, C1 minus B into principal diagonal into minus secondary diagonal. So, A1, C2 minus A2, C1 plus for the third element C into you have to calculate the cofactor. So, that is A1, B2 principal diagonal A1, B2 minus secondary diagonal A2 into B1. So, this is the final answer for calculating the determinant of matrix A with the order 3 cross 3. Now we are going to study about inverse of a square matrix. If A is a square matrix, then A inverse is called an inverse matrix of A. If A inverse into A is equal to A into A inverse is equal to I, where I is an identity matrix. Also we have A inverse is equal to adjoint of A divided by determinant of A where determinant of A should not be equal to 0, that is A is a non-singular matrix. So, here we can see we have got the formula for A inverse. A inverse is adjoint of A divided by determinant of A and also A inverse will be found out with a particular one condition that is determinant of A should not be equal to 0, which makes sure that the given matrix is a non-singular matrix. Now, we are going to study about properties of A inverse. First property, A inverse exists if and only if determinant of A is not equal to 0, that is A is non-singular. A inverse can be found out if and only if the determinant of that given square matrix must not be equal to 0. In other terms, 
द गिवन स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ये मस्ट बी नॉन सिंगुलर सेकेंड पॉइंट इफ द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दट मैट्रिक्स इज जीरो then a inverse does not exist so we cannot find out a inverse if the given matrix is singular if you find if a determinant of a is zero means the given matrix a is singular third point always the inverse of a matrix is unique so revising today's topics minors and cofactors then we studied about cofactors then we studied about the adjoint of a square matrix how to calculate the adjoint of the square matrix then we studied about what is singular matrix non singular matrix then we studied the steps how to calculate the determinant of a given matrix then we studied about the inverse of a square matrix we got the formula and also we studied with the properties of a inverse we hope you have liked today's video in future we are also publishing videos on different uh, methods of calculating the inverse of the matrix character characteristic equation and so on kindly subscribe to our channel and share the links with your friends